Well, hello and welcome to the most generic <laughs> podcast on the internet. My name is Josh Hawks. I am the 303 Ninja. And right over there, she is my beautiful and talented co-host. It is Miss Savannah. Partying. Yes, at, at a, uh, a lower altitude that you can mm-hmm. handle. Mm-hmm. Sponsored by whatever beer she is drinking. Uh, even further over there, he is my podcasting partner for life. He is the other guy. It's Mr. Francis Fernandez. Francis. Uh, oh. I have a book. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. I do, but it doesn't matter. The, you do. Uh, hi. You, do. you know, some people just have a bad altitude about things. Uh, mm. It's me. It's usually me. I mean, if you say so. I need to. I need to move myself. I'm too far to the right. Savannah needs to pan her camera to the right or move to her left. I'm going the wrong I way. Just know, yes. I just, okay. All I yep. know is. Nope. 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 I've got it. It's there's a leg. Pans are amazing, though. I love a good pan. Mm. I have a ceramic no. pan. It's supposed to be one of those like, mm. you know, non-stick pans. I almost bought a hundred dollar ceramic pan for Black Friday. Mm. Ooh. But I didn't. Did you guys get anything? I got too many things. <laughs> tell me uh, about them. Yeah, Francis, tell us about your oh, things. Oh, did you get anything, Josh? Uh I had gas from from Thanksgiving. From all the dairy. That's how you spent <laughs> Well, um, whose fault is that? Mine. Other than gingers. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, I, uh, I, I have a new coat of paint in the room because it all melted off the walls. Um, Gross. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, Francis, tell us about all the things that you spent your excessive money on. No, it was all like it's weird. As I get older... I feel less compelled to wear graphic tel- graphic T-shirts, so I bought co- solid colored T-shirts. Because <laughs> I'm like, I should just wear solid colored T-shirts. Why do I have to have graphic on my shirts? Let me just wear a solid colored T-shirt. I'll be like an adult for a day mm. instead of having something like Batman on my shirt or whatever. Because I'm noticing even young people don't wear graphic tees anymore. Like gra- the, gra- the 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 age of the graphic tee is going away. I'm like, nah. oh, man. You know, nah, I hope not. Gen I just, X and millennials won't let it die. Don't worry. That's yeah, I was oh, going to yeah. say, because I just bought like, you know, $40 worth of T-shirts like a month ago. They better not be going out of, at a complete sink. I usually don't. I was going to say, I usually don't have graphic tees, but my friend just gave me this one that I'm wearing. Hold on. Sorry, I have to pan down. But it just says softballing. We can look, you can see your and left like breast, but thanks. TV. There we go. Well, no, the there you go. Now, Sorry. now we're all over the place. Sorry. But yeah, you know, hey. Um... <laughs> <laughs> pan, pan right. Pan right. Other way. Other I'm way, fixing other way. it. All right. <laughs> I, I just love that it was just like. Again. It was just like half her face, just like oh yeah. It was. It no, was. I... It was just like your left boob, and then. Then we got a quick shot of the whole T-shirt, and then then we got like the upper, le- the yellow, the left side of your face. And that was great. But yeah, now I feel like yeah. a now I feel like a Twitch channel. Well, yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah, for me, for me, it's like oh, I should probably mix it up. So I mean, I'm gonna continue to wear the graphic tee, of course. But I wanted to mix it up and be like, okay, I'll wear the normal looking t- T-shirt when I go to like a museum or something. Or go somewhere like "quote unquote" fancy. Mm. Right? Are, you gonna, wear, are you gonna wear the t-shirt? solid color t yeah. shirt well, and a <laughs> sport shirts, coat? These collared shirts? No, this is all work. No, no, no. The solid tee means play. Oh. <laughs> no, but like I said, are you gonna do the solid solid color tee and the sport coat? No, I did that once, and I look like a douchebag. So with no. salmon shorts. <laughs> With salmon colored mm. shorts mm-hmm. and some like some Dead like, shoes. yes. <laughs> I couldn't remember what they were called. I was gonna call them like Docker shoes, but that's <laughs> not right. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my loafers. Okay, I'll have my loafers on, and I will have my 
my cream colored sports jacket over my I could be very Miami Vice mm. uh, yeah. here in Southern California. It. But um yeah, I mean, I don't know. It just seems like I don't know. There's a little bit I don't know why I feel that way. I, I mean it just seems to be like a trend here, at least in California. Again, we're we're just like separate from the rest of the country. Yes. <laughs> you understand yes. that. But like, like I said, even young people are just like, I'm not going to wear, I'm going to wear just like regular t-shirts and like nothing fancy. I'm like, oh, good. I'm going to look like the weirdo wearing like my fancy t-shirt or my t-shirt with the stuff on it. You, you <laughs> might look, as the kids say, Francis, chungy. Look that chungy? I don't chungy. fucking. Chungy. Huh? Oh. What is it? Chuggy. Chuggy. That's it. Chuggy. It's chuggy. I only heard the word today, so. Oh, is that like ratchet? I don't know. Um, it's more like um, embarrassing it's, as a millennial. The, yeah, oh. it's, it, the way it was described yeah. to me today is that if you still do anything that you still that you used to do in high school as an adult, that is chuggy. No, oh, like play with pogs. Or the example Can was, I still play with Fox? The example given was uh, Pokemon. Oh. Very ca- yeah, who's the very Catalina wine mixer there? This aesthetic has been described as the opposite of trendy or trying too hard. Oh, then, it, then that is it's just ratchet. Okay. Hmm. Um, uh. I don't know what you mean, uh, Dan, <laughs> but okay. I'm trying to figure that out. Like, what is the wine mixer? I don't <laughs> understand. Is it is it what Savannah's guzzling down, which is a nice brew of brown ale? Sponsored yeah. by Voodoo Ranger. Mm-hmm. It's New Belgium. Oh, it's a it's a craft beer. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's, it's an imperial like... IPA. Oh God. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. So anyway, uh, that's all. I just pe- like, people always talk I, so much shit about Guinness, but then like I, I can't even no. I can barely get through an Imperial IPA. I just feel like I'm just eating hops. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, when when you're sober for as long as I was, you start to miss hops. So, mm. I mean. I, I, but I like hops uh, beforehand too. So, yeah, well, thank you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what the Catalina wine mixer yeah. was. I just didn't know that you didn't know. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, no. Well, now I know. Hmm. Here's the thing: there was a stint of Will Ferrell movies that I just kind of glossed over. Oh, definitely, definitely. One of them. Was Talladega Nights? Yep, I haven't. I still haven't watched that. My brother-in-law kept trying to watch that this weekend, and I was like, "We're not." <laughs> the other one was Semi Pro. Do you guys remember Semi Pro, where he was like the, the, the that was basketball the, player? Yeah, basketball. I didn't see that one. I, I, I kind of panned. That's going to be the, epi- the the word of the episode. Um, I panned pretty much all of his movies up until Step Brothers, and I was like, "Wait a second. This is kind of funny. And then went backwards. Well, that, well, that's when he allowed himself to be himself as opposed to be like these characters in like those other movies. Because I think I, I, I'm pretty I feel like Step Brothers is like a reflection <laughs> of, of actual Will Ferrell where, you know, he just wants to be he just wants to let it all out. Like that was during the time of the the landlord from Funny or Dying, do you remember that one? Yes, mm-hmm. the, mm-hmm. the little mm-hmm. the little girl, his daughter. Yeah, was that his daughter? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's funny, but that's that, that's when he was like, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do like just really random, silly. Instead of doing a, a character that's random and silly, I'm just gonna be me and be yeah. weird and silly. And I think that's where like Step Brothers. Well, oh, I think that it's it's crazy that Ron Burgundy. Has a podcast. What? Mm-hmm. what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't even funny. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 
I don't, I don't, I don't know how to take that now. I, uh, I think I'm gonna have to hang up on both of you <laughs> as a result. Um, uh, well, then you wouldn't get to uh, pimp your book out. Well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you know, look, the holidays are coming. <laughs> and if you're looking for the perfect stocking stuffer, do I have one for you? This is a. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say something <laughs> terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of stuffing stockings, um, no, uh, we have. <sighs> uh, I have a. Uh, I contributed to a book called Dragons of a Different Tale, and it is out on sale right now. You can get the digital copy. Physical copies are in, a, in about a week or two. So if you want a physical copy and I don't sign your copy, I don't know why anyone wants it signed for me, but um, <laughs> if for some reason you do, wait for this physical do. copy. Um, or if you want an untarnished physical copy, go buy the digital form, then buy the physical form when it comes out. So then I can sign it, and then you don't have to bend the back. You don't have to bend that spine. Mm. Uh, you know. But uh, yeah, it's at, the, the, there you see it's right there. The It is at... Um, I don't see the website though. It has the image. Uh, the I I I failed at creating that. That's image. okay. Books dot books to read dot com. Books the number two read dot com slash dragons tale t a i l. Uh, if you're interested in a, a book that I contributed in, and I may actually write a whole book out of, because it's kind of like a a prequel to a bigger story. Well, yeah, it's about dragons. Dragons. Oh, I just I'm putting it in the chat right now. Which apparently is like a like a thing. What? Dragons? Yeah, Dragons are not a thing. Apparently that's a genre. <laughs> apparently that's a that's a fantasy genre. There, yeah, there you know, thank you. Thank you, Poi Podcast. Hey, you know. Mm. It's funny you say that. Um I look Poi is good. But thank you. Yeah, so check it out if you are interested. Po Poi is the thing you see all at the raves with the people who are like numb chucking fire is it poi wait That's, wait wait is it yeah. poi like a like a a food it is it is also a food oh, mm. okay good <laughs> oh yeah. yeah oh yeah it's a starchy polynesian food paste made from the terror root poi or mm. poi well there mm -hmm. you go um anyway, what's up guys well you guys didn't ask me what i got for black friday what did you get for black friday nothing uh but Alt altitude sickness <laughs> Mm. I did get altitude sickness, yes. Um, and then for Cyber Monday, I got sweatpants. And um, I just decided that I needed an at-home laser hair remover. So <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Are you going to do a live hair removal? I can, if you would like. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Get, yeah. get my mustache taken off. <laughs> Um, no, I was a little afraid that you didn't buy anything technological on Cyber Monday. <laughs> They're like, that's the point. You're supposed to get something techy on Cyber Monday. Oh, really? I thought it was just like internet deals. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, to me, it's like you got to get something techy. But Cyber Monday was also Cyber Spider Monday. In other words, tickets to Spider Man, no, oh, far from okay. no way. Yeah, no. tell yeah. us about that. You're like, <laughs> Uh, yeah. No. Um, <laughs> so uh, let me ruin made, your transition there. Well, they, they made it a big deal. Like they, they announced it online. They're like, "Hey, Cyber Spider Monday, the 29th of November. Don't forget to mark your calendars." I'm like, "Okay, sure, whatever." And I'm like, "Well, what time are you supposed to buy the tickets?" Mm. Right? It was midnight Eastern. Well, for the following day and a half. Websites of all sorts were crashing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Every, uh, my local theaters, AMC and Regal, you can buy tickets. Fandango, like, refused to sell anything. Um, it was an absolute shit show. It was the funniest thing ever because people were uh, pretty much kicking themselves all Monday, all Sunday night through Monday trying to buy these tickets because... They, I guess, everyone wants to see this movie. I didn't know it was that popular. I don't even think Endgame was that hard to get tickets for, right? And that was a huge kind of like event. But <clears throat> yeah, it, it this thing, 
crashed websites. People couldn't buy their tickets. I waited. I feel ashamed. Oh, geez. But I was watching oh, YouTube stuff with, with Martha, so it didn't matter. We were entertaining ourselves doing other stuff. But I think I waited almost two hours to get my ticket. To get my one ticket. <laughs> in a terrible seat in a theater on Thursday, the day before it comes out see oh, even dan didn't dan couldn't get any he's like you can't find any either like there, it, it was hard to get and uh, you, you don't want to get spoiled but it took me two hours because the websites all were just a mess so mm. if you want to watch this movie good luck <laughs> <laughs> especially if you're going to get spoiled good luck because you're going to need it to get to get oh. i don't do you guys care do you guys do you guys care about this movie no, I do not. All right, good. I mean, Josh, <laughs> I'm here. Oh no, but do you? I was I was asking, like, does anyone even care about this movie? I mean, I I I'm interested in it. I'm I'm I want to see it. Okay. Well, yeah, but you're not in. You don't. You're not a first to the first to the line type of movie. No. Watcher. No, I I, yeah. I that doesn't that doesn't matter to me. I, no, I've, okay. I've, I've, Sorry. I've I've never I've never gotten onto Fandango or or the the website to the theater I want to go to and not been able to just get a ticket to a movie. Yeah, no, this one they're Friday, Saturday, Thursday, all just again huge mess, huge mm. mess. Plus, so. I usually try to get tickets in the morning, <laughs> like morning tickets, so that I typically don't have a problem. Getting a ticket. Nobody goes to the movies movies at yeah. ten in the morning. I'm well. That's the problem. Is this is a big enough movie that I think? Like, I mean, I think people are taking days off just to watch it. Like, I think mm. we're doing that. But yeah, see, so good luck. I hope you get it, Dan. I hope you find a way to get it because yeah, I'm pretty sure scalpers got it. They're selling it online right now. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Even though most places require are like um, assigned seating. And AMC, if you buy it through their little app, um, require a an ID mm. to to let you into the theater because they have to make sure that you're not trying to sneak it in, it's, you know, sneak it through right. someone else's ticket or something. So Hell. it's really weird. That is. Oh, by the way, do you guys, have you guys gotten back ID yet to go into places? No. Mm. Um, I did. Uh, all three of us when we went to that wrestling thing, we did bring our vax cards with us but um they didn't ask for them so because this happened to me like three times already and i was curious if it has some of you guys yet but apparently not okay you guys no. been boosted yet no i haven't i, I know josh has yes the too. savannah and i both have yeah mm -hmm. there you go um but speaking of well not really never mind <laughs> uh <laughs> I, I had something I just, thought out, and like then uh, the dog, and, and there's there's things on the side that are distracting the shit out of me. Um, like right now, um, uh, everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I am hoping. Aside from aside from altitude sickness. For those who don't know, I was supposed to hang out with Josh while I was in Colorado. I wasn't even I wasn't even going there. <laughs> <laughs> but since you brought it up, that's a, that's the worst. That's what you took. Swing. Yes, we tried though. We tried. We did. Could have saved. Uh, could have saved you. Could have saved you from from football. Um, instead of drinking water like I should, I just uh, drank a lot of alcohol. And uh, shocker, I felt like shit. So here we are. You know, it's funny is when I went to. Mexico City, Josh's first bit of advice to me was to drink as much water as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that was the first thing he tells me when I told him I'm going on this trip. He's like, drink water. Drink a yeah. lot of water. I'm like, yep. okay. So I, I had like 60 gallons of water. I drink water. I think I drank like three or four gallons of water a day almost. <laughs> like, it was ridiculous how much water I drank. But yeah, you get, yeah, also, it's, that's not a fun ride. It's not a ride you want to be on. Yeah, and then didn't you end up still having to go to the hospital? 
or a doctor's office or something? No, I didn't have to go to a doctor's office, but I did feel sick. I was, you I did was think sicker about it, hours. though. Yeah. No, no. I Well, no, I drank. The thing was, I, so the tip is for people who aren't just, who are from go, coming from um, sea level to that high, you're actually supposed to take a day doing nothing. You're supposed to take a day to acclimate. No, we went hiking everywhere. <laughs> we, went, mm-hmm. we were walking yep. everywhere. Yep, and I was fine until was... we went hiking, and then and then it was game over. So that was, yeah, that was our mistake. Was on the very first day we were going walking everywhere mm. and going to all these places, and that's why I ended up getting sick because I didn't. The, the, the tip is sit, just relax. Mm-hmm. Go to your place. Go to places where you're gonna stay, and just don't move. Watch TV for a day. Get yourself acclimated. Drink all that water. Then go out and then walk into a bathtub. <laughs> Which is mostly what I did the first day, but I drank a lot of alcohol instead. So. <laughs> and that's the other thing. I didn't drink I didn't drink any alcohol. Mm. Uh, what? You? I know, right? Shocker. Um, but Savannah, you did go check something out that I haven't even gotten to go check out yet. And that is the, uh, the Me- um, Meow Wolf uh, exhibit. It was absolutely wild. Like... I can't even describe what it is because I don't know. <laughs> um, we were only there about an hour, and I think you could spend probably four to five hours there if you really wanted to, uh, but it was a lot. We went 11 a.m. on a Saturday, so there was lots of children there, and mm. that was not fun for for our party. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's fair. It's fair. Um, but, uh, no, it was crazy and none of us even did drugs beforehand because we knew that it was going to be crazy. <laughs> like, I better hold off on that acid till after this trip. To be honest. Yes. Because I think you probably would have lost your cookies if that was the case. Like it was just, it was bonkers, but it's like the super immersive experience, um, there's there's what like five of them there's like one in las vegas there's one in yeah there's one in vegas yeah. phoenix or something I like think, that like so. there's there's a few of them um and they're all a little bit different and the one in denver is like a, a convergence like like a transportation center almost they called it q dot which i thought was topical because you know i work for the department of transportation so the dot um but it reminded me a lot of um total recall oh uh, uh original like or get there and there's just like garbage everywhere and like the the back alleys and you know like it was just it was super weird but like neither my sister nor her husband had seen it so they didn't know what i was talking about the question is, is that, um, did your eyes bulge out? Yes. Okay, good. Yep. Mm. I grew a third breast as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got good. better. But... Okay. Hey, w- well, once you get, once you get back to your, your, your area of, of the country. That was the real reason that I didn't want to hang out with Josh was I was embarrassed about my third breast. Oh. So. I mean, had, had I known, had I known. <laughs> Would have stopped and got some chapstick. Driven as fast as possible. I would have stopped and got some chapstick. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Um, Wasted. But it was, it, I, I think it's worth a Google, at least. It's Meow Wolf. It's ridiculous because, like I said, I can't even explain it. Like, you guys just have to look at pictures and just be like, what the fuck? But, like... This place is like the size of an Ikea, basically. And it was like five different levels and bonkers. Mm. So then why did you, if you could spend four hours, why did you not spend four hours? So there is like a story part of it that you can like immerse yourself in essentially. But um, we didn't really want to do that. Um, It was kind of like a escape room almost but like everything oh, is like a door mm-hmm. and like it's just it's wild uh, it, and... it was described to me that if if there is a door and it has a, a a knob or some way to open it and you can if you can open that door you can go through it basically yeah yeah and it was yeah like it was just 
it was crazy. And but like when they were like kind of giving us a, a semi like this is how you do this, they're like, you can go get this and then make sure you talk to all of the the citizens too. But you know, of course it's like drama kids at their prime, but like dressed up like cyberpunks, so we did not do that. Mm. <laughs> My sister, like the look on her face when when they were like, we encourage you to talk to the citizens. And she was like, I can, I can, I can almost see, I can almost see it. Yeah. (laughs) What's sad is those kids, this is the one thing they've been waiting for all their lives, these Mm -hmm. kids, and and they're not getting the opportunity to interact with the masses. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, yeah, I just, I can't even like, I don't even know how to describe it. And that's not helping anybody. I realize that. So, mm. well, uh, I might be able to join you. People to... I might be able to join you in not being able to describe something because I'm going to the uh, Van Gogh exhibit mm. on, on mm-hmm. Thursday. My sister asked if I wanted tickets to that or Meow Wolf. And I said Meow Wolf because we have a Van Gogh exhibit in Minneapolis that I mm. can do. So. But I heard that that Van Gogh is also insane. Yes, I, I plan on on uh, consuming very much a lot of marijuana. But that would probably, I mean, that would probably be a good place to do it because yeah. it's just artwork. But yeah, so. I, I don't really do it's the edibles that much. Artwork. Like I'm a fucking art history major, and I'm just like, <laughs> it's just art. <laughs> yeah, but it, it looks, it looks really cool. And it, I had a friend of mine that went to the one that's in Chicago. And it would, mm-hmm. and I know every exhibit's going to be a little bit different, but it looked really cool just how everything is just projected onto the walls and people were just kind of just sitting on the floor, just mm-hmm. checking things out or leaning against the wall. Just so it'll be, it'll be cool to check it out. Yeah, for sure. We'll report back. I'm excited. Yeah. I, I hope to have at least a couple details to, to express because I don't think, Pictures. Other than I can't describe it, it's bonkers, it's wild. <laughs> uh, like, I, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, pictures and videos that I've seen of it just don't seem, I don't think are going to translate. We'll see, we'll see. Um, hey, did, did any of you guys watch Hawkeye? No. Hawkeye. Hot Hot guy. Hot guy. Hot guy, am I right? Mm, Jeremy Renner? I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's okay. Yeah, I like him as as the Born Legacy, but yeah. no, I did. Yes, I watched it. Did you watch it? I did not. I didn't even know it was <laughs> out until Sunday night. Mm. That's. I mean, that's that's bad on Disney for. I mean, if all the other marketing for the shows, I saw on everything. It didn't matter what I was watching or, or, or the few times I watched TV commercials, I, I always saw WandaVision or Mandalorian, what have you. Really? Like commercials for it. Yeah. For, I for understand. Hawkeye, nothing. I don't think I've seen anything for it. I had, I had no idea Hawkeye was even cued to come out this year. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, I had no idea. So it, it surprised me when I saw that it was apparently came out on Thanksgiving or the day after or something. It came out on Wednesday. Okay. Uh, fuck me. Week. You know, what do I know? So, uh, it's not the day before, before Thanksgiving. Um, so it's been was... out for a fucking week and, you know, you know, whatever. Yeah, it had uh, it, it did it did the first two episodes, mm-hmm. um, and it's good. I mean, I like it. Mm. Nice. Uh, um, Martha doesn't like it, but I like it. So I guess I'm just watching this on my on my own. But it's <laughs> you know, yeah, it's fine. It's it you know, it's you know, it's, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to explain. It's just like oh, it's Christmas, very Christmassy. Let's just say that it's very Christmassy and. 
yeah, that's fine. Like, uh, it just started, right? Like, so I don't know if it's going to get better or worse, but it it's based off of a comic book that I've actually read. <laughs> so that's why I'm a little more interested because I'm like, mm. oh, I read that comic. I know what this is about. Like, I, I it may not be the exact same story, but it has the same aesthetic. It has the same artist for all of the, like, the uh, intros and, and, and all that stuff. So I'm like, oh, I know this. Oh, it's Matt Fraction. Okay. Oh, it's, it's the... Uh, my life is a weapon. Oh, I know that. I know all this stuff. I've read this stuff. Great. So that's kind of why I'm more interested in it. So if you've wa- if you read the comics, it's it's you know I think it's worthwhile to watch. Yeah, maybe even I'll... having it's so fun. I'm sorry. I <laughs> see. Even 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 if you haven't watched any or read any of the comics, it's still fun. It's still yeah. a fun kind of like silly. You know. It's still Marvel. It's still Marvel. Yeah. They, they still have yeah. the formula. It's still the same formula. You know. Sure, so, which is why I yeah. think the, the the Spider-Man movies are going to be just just fine, even though it's more of a Sony product. But I think it'll be just fine. Yeah, well, again, they're 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 um, banking on nostalgia. That's why mm. everyone wants to watch it. Is they they, don't, they want to watch it because there's two other you know the potential for the the, the potential field and no, yeah. they're, they're there. Well, yeah, but I mean. I did get spoiled though on the the uh, the sixth uh, villain in the movie. Thank you to Toys. Oh, Toys. Oh, mm-hmm. I, I I have a guess on what on who the sixth. Who's your guess? For is Venom. Uh no. Venom. I mean it's possible, Venom. right? But uh, I was perusing the toy aisle and uh, I looked down because something caught my eye and it was the Vulture. In a uh, No Way Home box uh, sure. with, you know, new okay. uh, new wings and bits. Okay. And I was like, oh, all right, all right. Sinister, sinister, sinister 6, easy for me to say. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm looking at it. Okay, yeah. Got it, yeah. Did we uh, did we talk last week about the wrestler that got attacked? What? I know about it. I don't know if we talked about. It. I don't. I think that happened after Tuesday. I believe it did. Um, did it not? I don't know. I can't remember. But um, well, either way, um, last week on one of the uh, WWE <laughs> shows, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Raw. Um, I think, yeah, I think it was on Monday, but, but why, yeah. I don't, I don't know. know why we wouldn't have talked about it. I, I don't know. I, think um, we, I feel like we did. I don't know. Either way, a wrestler got attacked. It was uh, pretty crazy. Um, people talked a lot of shit about the wrestler not doing anything. But uh, okay. I think most companies would rather have their... Um, lower paid employees take the wrath than a multi-million dollar contracted uh what are the, what contracted employee and they're not con- mm-hmm. what, are they, what are they called a superstar if you a will super, a superstar yeah they're not wrestlers <laughs> don't say wrestling around vince um superstar yeah. <laughs> yes every time Sports they say it that's what i think yeah they, they yeah they, they definitely aren't doing much wrestling anymore um, another uh, producer, ex wrestler, asked for their release from WWE. Um, the guy went by the name of Scotty Too Hotty. Oh, and he has become <laughs> he's become a coach slash producer, backstage producer for NXT, and he put a a public statement out asking for for his release, uh, with the specific note. <laughs> Um, that I took from it anyway is that uh, the black and gold brand meant a lot to me, which was the old NXT colors before they revamped and have gone a different direction with their, their programming. I think he just doesn't want to be a part of what it is becoming or what is it has become. Also stated that he would also uh, leave if he was just uh, taking a paycheck and he feels that that is what he's doing at this point is just taking a paycheck. Like, ouch. Well, I mean, that's kind of what you were saying last week with all of the, uh, 
Was it last week we were talking about all of the people leaving? Or uh, being asked to leave? Yeah. <laughs> For oh, yeah, budget leave, cut yeah. reasons? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. I mean, you know, you, you go where you're going to make sure your next paycheck is. <laughs> you know what you should do is mm. you should start a, um, you know, a, a an amateur wrestling organization and invite these people on. <laughs> yes, with the uh, the millions in with the, the the dollars we can pay them. Yes, yes. Oh no 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 no. Here's the deal. <laughs> it's not it's not the money that we are going to that we are going to pay them. It's the money they will be earning for themselves. That's what you have mm. to tell them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so we're pimps, is what you're saying? <laughs> you take a cut. Yeah, get that ten percent. Yeah, I'll make you some money, bitch. 10%. For appearances and 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 unregulated wrestling matches because we don't have the money. Right. <laughs> um, it's a real ladder. Yeah, it's a real ladder. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know about that. Um, you know, I I barely can get uh, an internet show running correctly. How how the hell am I supposed to get a uh, wrestling organization together? I can't even get your guys' pictures to stay. I can't even get your guys' pictures to stay the same fucking size for for forty. They're just bumping all over each other. Uh, Yeah, yeah. We're we're having a dance party. It's fine. It's. I do love how tiny my picture gets now. Yeah, it's small. Yeah. It, It it. You have no idea how annoying it is on this side. I I feel like my computer's having Tourette's because your guys pictures on my end are constantly shifting from small to large <laughs> constantly <laughs> and mine doesn't shift at all ever yeah look if you put like some kind type of electronica or edm behind that it'll be more mm-hmm. like fun because it'll just make it about. right yeah make it make sense yeah I, I wish i knew when it was gonna happen so i could like hit the button you know, so like there would at least like it would change the screen at least as well with changing your your guys' uh, picture sizes. Every time the size changes, the beat drop or the yeah. bass drops. Mm. See, this is yeah. the, the, this is this is where the 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 commercial for for like the Viagra would come in, where we could just keep the pictures at the same size and keep you know keep you strong. <laughs> sure, Josh. Whatever you say. I'm, I'm floundering <laughs> here because I have no plan for this evening. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, you know, it's the holidays. Tomorrow we can officially, I guess, start playing Christmas music, even though people have been playing Christmas music since November 1st. You know, I, I walked into work on Monday, and they decided to start the, the day off with Mariah Carey. And I heard... The, those those distant cries of that one song. Yeah, well, and I walked I walked over and I said, "I will smash your balls with a ball peen hammer." Don't do it, and just walked away. And Have I told you guys my favorite game in the entire world? Does it involve balls and a ball, ball, ball peen ball hammer? hammer? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, Where do I sign up? Uh, you. Know- <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> OnlyFans.com slash, um, <laughs> uh, no, uh, you know, touch tunes, the, the jukeboxes that most bars have. Yeah. Um, y- you can, there's an app now, so you don't have to go up to it, obviously. And, and so you can play songs from your phone anonymously, obviously. So I, oh, I like to play Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas is you at inappropriate times during the year, like July 4th. <laughs> well, July isn't July half Christmas. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like when it's ninety degrees out, and you're just like, mm-hmm, "Yep, you're gonna hear those bells." And some people get really mad about it. Mm. I would probably be one of those people. It's hilarious. But, but although mean, there there is somebody on uh, the YouTube's that took the music of that song and put the lyrics to "Ride the Lightning." From Metallica, oh. changes the, the whole changes the whole tune of that song on both ends. We need we need to find it. Oh, you do. Well, also, I mean, but 
she she made the latest. She oh, she's the only one that made a song that people still a modern Christmas song. I hate still. Christmas music, and that is one of my favorite songs in the entire world. I just don't like Christmas music because it doesn't reflect the 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 world in which we live in today. We need new Christmas music. Well, I don't. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. It just we just need new Christmas music. Yeah, but the only hey, one person. Ginger, you take that back. You take that back. <laughs> I mean, look, I it's it's one of my favorite Christmas songs. I actually like Christmas music. Um, I mean, I'm willing to listen to it when it's actually Christmas, though. I'm not going to listen to it any other time of the year. But yeah, on Christmas, yeah, I'm all about that Christmas music. I love, I love a good, you know, jingle bells or Grandma got run over by a reindeer or something. <laughs> like that's fun to me. I know, <laughs> right? I know. But well, because I think about it. Mariah Carey and. Uh, Trans Siberian Orchestra. Wait, which you know, one? The electric guitars over the classic music. Um, no. Oh, no? God. No. <laughs> uh, the worst song oh, is that do, do They Know It's Christmas is like the worst Christmas song. Or Christmas Shoes. That oh, fucking yeah. one. My mama's dying. I need to buy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I like. It's uh, the only thing I can do is the virus. Didn't Run DMC have a Christmas Christmas song? Yeah, Christmas and Christmas, like Christmas in Harlem Christmas. or something like that. Is it Christmas in Harlem? I think there is. Yeah. Yeah, that that but, one's cool. I like that song. Just a lot of rock bands did Christmas music, like Blink One Eighty Two has a Christmas song, and like there's a lot of like rock Christmas songs that are terrible. Oh. <laughs> mm. Like I, I, you know, can you I imagine like Metallica doing like a lot of like... hot rock Christmas songs that are terrible? Well, yeah. There's a lot of just terrible Christmas songs. Yeah, I think that's ninety nine percent of them. Yeah, wow. I, I think I, I think mm-hmm. even even with the best or your favorite bands, it's still a, a crappy song. Like um, what was that one Beatles song? It wasn't. It was a Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney song. <laughs> Oh, that one's terrible. Um, it, are you guys amazed at how many people discovered the Beagle, the Beatles this past weekend? Oh, for because of that Get Back um, mm-hmm. do, uh, Disney Plus documentary. I I overheard a couple people when I was out and about talking about the Beatles as if, and in one case, was the first time they'd even heard of the Beatles. <laughs> well, rem- well, remember though, oldies is now considered '90s and 2000s music. Yeah, that is true. So, that is true. Yeah. You know, like, but still, like, fucking. I mean, there was a movie about the Beatles music just two years ago called Yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, there's still stuff about the Beatles all the time. I don't really know how that how it escapes anyone's periphery. I mean, but you have to remember also too that uh, what was it? Uh, McCartney was singing at uh, the the, Olymp- the Olympics when they were in England. And oh, really? people were on Twitter when it was happening, being like, who is this undiscovered talent, Paul McCartney? Somebody <laughs> needs to sign this guy. And he needs to he collab so with... What? Why is he so old? Yeah. Oh, he's uh, just lost talent. This guy, this guy could have been making music for years. It was See, pretty insane. Ginger's, was pretty... Ta- Ginger's talking about Michael Buble. That's all she's talking about. <laughs> Has he he has, has he uh, emerged from uh, the the cave in which he dwells in all year? Here's the thing: it's he like, took he took he like took an early retirement because he was like a super sick kid. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, like his kid has cancer, so okay. he, that's why that's why you haven't really heard much about him. All right, well wow, then, you know you can't you can't make fun of the guy now. Oh, you still can. Like he still yeah, yeah, sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but he not he, his kid. He does. <laughs> Yeah, well, the only problem with the classic standards about the crooners is, like, again, that's going back to like the 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. There are no new Frank Sinatra songs no. and no new, you know, you're not going to hear. Yeah, you're just not going to get those anymore. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I said, it's weird because unlike last year, we're actually barreling through this year pretty quickly. 
which is amazing to me how quickly we're going through this year. Um, <laughs> I mean, you caught me mid drink. Sorry. Um, yeah, I, 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 Josh, is Paul McCartney your real dad? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if if that were the case, at least I would think I would end up with hair. <laughs> um, or at the very least, a cool accent. I mean, hey, dude is vegan. Oh boy, that's embarrassing. <laughs> what? That he's being, vegan? Being vegan. Mm. Oh. Yeah. See, it's funny because I am <laughs> Francis. That's why it's a joke. <laughs> Remember when I was going to write stand-up for you? You still want to use that? Yes, please. <laughs> First off, they have to know who you are, and secondly, they have to also know that you're the that's, the, that's the fun of ghostwriting, though, Francis. Nobody needs mm -hmm. to know. You just need to perform it. All right, hold on. I'm trying, I want to know what Paul McCartney's Christmas song was. Does anyone remember Paul McCartney's Christmas song? No. No. Oh, is it, is, it, is it Christmas, I think? Oh, man. I don't remember what the Christmas song was. Oh, Wonderful Christmas Time. We'll be happy. Oh, yeah. Wonderful Christmas time. That, that's a real terrible song. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, Ginger. That's not a good song. Oh, man. Yeah, that's awful. But, yeah. you know, again, what are we going to do? Like, there's no good classic Christmas movies anymore. Ex well, no, I guess that's not true. There's Elf and... Christmas, Christmas Vacation. You didn't like that one, though. I didn't like that movie. <laughs> I didn't like Christmas Vacation. It has, a, it has its it has its moments, but yeah. yeah. Or like, I don't know. It's uh, a hell of a lot better than Christmas Vacation 2. Eddie's Vacation. <laughs> Was it called Christmas Vacation 2? I thought, oh. I think yeah, I straight the fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> the only the returning that... cast member was Cousin Eddie. No, wait, 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 wait. What was the one that Ed Helms did where he was the son of that was, was just, Oh, I think that was just called Vacation. Oh, that's just But they I think that movie was I didn't see it. It's I, it's on something, but it was in theaters. Yeah, I remember I mean I remember it being out, but I, I'm saying now I think it's streamable on something. Mm -hmm. But um I think that movie was self aware that there was a franchise before it oh yeah well yeah yeah, yeah right, I, at least i saw a clip where yeah helms is saying no this isn't the original this is a new vacation like yeah saying something like, you know kind of making it like tongue-in-cheek like 21 jump street right yeah mm. <laughs> i like that movie i thought it was funny <laughs> You I like that would. it was so self-aware. And in, oh, I mean, the, <laughs> I one just, of the very first jokes is that it's a recycled that that it's a, it's a, a cheap recycled movie. <laughs> like mm. that's like you know that acknowledgement alone was like okay, you got me. Ah, Scrooge, yeah, yeah. Scrooge is a classic. I Scrooge saw that. Did I? I don't remember. If I, did I? Did I? Talk, we talked about Scrooge. Didn't I we? believe. We I think we. Scrooge. I think. I think we did Scrooge as a. Uh, yeah. As a homework assignment a, once. Yeah, but back when we were interesting, we were doing holiday movies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> back when we were interesting. Back when we were interesting, yeah. Die Hard, Love Actually, yeah. Love everybody Actually. forgets that. Fuck that movie. Everybody <laughs> forgets <laughs> that uh, Lethal Weapon is a Christmas yeah, movie. It just takes Die place Die Hard, in, you mean? And Die, Die Hard as well. But lethal lethal Weapon is also Christmas time. But yeah. yeah, it just happens to take place in L.A. So, you know, it's not very Christmassy. But, uh, oh my God, they had that really bad, um, what's his face? Um, uh, they did that Christmas song for Love Actually. It was uh, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love is, uh, Love is All uh, Christmas is All Around Me. <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's so funny. I don't know. Anyway. And you have a terrible, um, you know, um, Professor Snape. Um, God. <laughs> Alan Rickman. Yeah, Alan Rickman, yeah. yeah. And then you have that one girl, for, that one chick from um, um, Unfaithful, who is now, again, playing a role of a woman who is with a younger man, I think, in this movie, too. <laughs> and then you have the porn guys in that movie. It was great. Um... Yeah, no. I don't know what that guy's name is. It's um. For which one? 
Bill Nighy. Oh, Bill Nighy, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Bill Nighy. Not, not to be confused with Bill Nye. I no. mean... They look very similar. <laughs> <laughs> They're only 20 years apart in age, and one's British and one's American, but... Yeah, they, you similar. know, you've never seen them in the same place at the same time. Right. That's very true. Hmm. No, that, yeah, I don't know. And then they made Home Alone 3. <laughs> They, no, didn't they just no. recently make a yeah. like? There's a new one home out al- now. That's yeah. Just... Home Alone again, or something. oh no, Home Sweet Home Alone, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where he's British this time. Whoa. Being, being um, attacked by American comedian thieves, <laughs> <laughs> and one is a woman. What? what? But they're both like I love that they're both they're both comedians and apparently it's a terrible movie like the reviews for it are just absolutely of course abysmal. it is yeah I, I we just can't come up with new shit anymore apparently so oh no that's too much work rehash things from the can we, I mean if we're gonna rehash some shit can we get like a a new cannonball run then or like <laughs> uh, uh uh mad 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 world or uh, Alf. Or something. They've been trying to do Al they forever. Al? Oh my god. They've been trying to do Al forever. They have. Well, the the creator of Alf has been wanting to do Alf again forever. That's the thing. It's like there here's the thing. There are a billion new Christmas movies. They all just happen to be in the Hallmark channel. Mm. And it all happens to oh, be Oh yeah, they come out like hourly. <laughs> it all happens to be a city woman who has yeah. to has to choose between a country bumpkin or the other or her city job boy. as a as a magazine editor, editor. <laughs> and she doesn't have time to know what love is <laughs> but then the internet breaks down <laughs> and and an apple orchard owner who's six <laughs> five and has a 12 pack mm-hmm. and a large beard teaches her mm-hmm. the meaning of christmas with his penis <laughs> via al- a- 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 via apple picking and um then she throws her cell phone in the river the icy river and then they get married and then they're both wearing plaid shirts at the <laughs> end of the movie and and Re- Reese Witherspoon um, <laughs> <laughs> starring <laughs> anybody Reprising her role from that one movie where she did the exact same thing. Sweet home Alabama. That's the one. Thank you. Mm. But see who I'm about. Wasn't she like a? Wasn't like the dude like a senator or something? And like. <laughs> and she wasn't divorced yet, so she had to go back home mm-hmm. and get a divorce because she was newly engaged. Oh, that's right. And, and she reconnects with his old. Uh, but then she her. reconnects with him and realizes yeah. that he's a rugged hottie. <laughs> who drives an old truck and she's like, Oh, you're not a senator. I forgot why I married you, and it's because you're smoking hot. <laughs> well, both dudes were, weren't they? I thought both dudes were like fairly attractive, right? I'm trying to think who who would be uh Yeah, look at that. Here's the thing. It's like <laughs> the premises for those movies, what I love about it is that the uh, the male protagonists. Oh, it like, was Patrick Dempsey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's McSteamy or whatever. Yeah. McDreamy. McDreamy. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to say no to that guy? <laughs> she did Apparently for she Josh did. Lucas. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't even know who that is. but Well, she, Josh Lucas, he's been in other stuff, but boy, did she marry down then, I guess. Right? Uh, Josh Lucas is in a bunch of things. But yeah, hey, look. I'm glad that there's an audience for that. <laughs> I mean, you can always if it if it doesn't land for you, wait an hour and a half, and as soon as they're done editing the next one, they'll just hit play on that one and mm-hmm. start mm-hmm. editing you, you, the next one as they yep. just finished it. There's just a constant rotation of filming projects on the same sound set sound stage. You can always watch that one, you know new catholic movie was it Bened- benedicta or something like that the uh the lesbian nuns oh, uh what <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so there's these nuns, one of which is who gets the stigmata. Um, they're she, she they're discovering it's a Lars von Trier movie, and of they're discovering yeah they're discovering their their lust for each other as nuns in a nunnery. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of this. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it was a large, it was a large bunch of <laughs> I don't know what that um, means, but okay. Uh, I, I, he did. Um, he did. He's he's done several movies where it's all about like people fighting each other, just too hot and horny for one another, and so they just. I mean, do it all the time. And that and that and that how it works. I haven't quite yeah, figured. It, I haven't figured out this relationship thing yet. So I, you know. Yeah, Do you know what a... Josh Lucas's full name is? Oh, I'll give it to me. Joshua Lucas Easy Dent Morer. <laughs> Easy We're... Dent. There's yeah. Pilot Inspector and uh, Apparently this this past week on Family Guy. Uh I don't know. I didn't see the episode. I was just kind of given one little bit of it, but I, apparently they were going into the past for some reason. And Peter's name that he chose for himself in this adventure was Mac Book Pro. <laughs> well, it's like um, Homer and Max Power, right? Like, <laughs> mm. You know. It's just, yeah, of course. I'm going to pick a name like that. It, uh, it has, a friend it has of, gravitas. A friend of mine is going to Vegas for the first time. Mm. And I and I, I said to him, what's your alias? What, have, you, have you come up with an alias? And he goes, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. I don't plan on committing any crimes, Josh. I said you're going to Vegas, man. You got to come up with an alias. You can't. You can't go as you. You need to go as somebody. Hi, and, I'm and Johnny Big Dick. <laughs> he, <laughs> without breaking too much kayfabe, he's Ecuadorian. So I told oh, him to Ecuadorian. to look up a famous Ecuadorian name, and just go as that person. And then I thought about it, and I said, no, fuck that. You should go as Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> and, and just see how many people react to the name, because most people aren't going to that you run into, no. but you're going to run into an older person, possibly, and, maybe. And, it, oh, oh, oh what, can I get your name? You'd be Ricardo Montalban. And they're, they're going to smirk at you, and then you're just going to give them the wink and... No, he. Well, maybe. Yeah. Well, he has to have the accent, though. Does he have an accent? Uh, I I gave I gave him the YouTube to to. Because Ricardo Montalban has an amazing accent. Oh yeah, he was he was great. I'm just saying, like, oh you, you got to do. The, there's a there's an Irish pub bar where they where the mascot's a, a little person uh, dressed up as a leprechaun. He could just go up to them and call him Tattoo. Tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah. You could ask the guy, "Where's the plane? Where, where, where is the plane? <laughs> the plane, <laughs> the plane. <laughs> you know." <laughs> the thing is, how many people? <laughs> people know what we're talking about like really i mean i don't even know what the fuck we're talking about half the time francis <laughs> if i'm gonna be really honest with you like now i want to make you know like not just fantasy island references but like does anyone know who what gilligan's island is anymore like can we talk about gilligan's island will people get the fact that like the professor made everything out of coconuts. Yeah. And like, like, will anyone understand that 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 was a thing? What I think we should try to do, Francis, is 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 looking at, at an episode of Gilligan's Island, find an episode, maybe, and and, and maybe. we act out, in a sense, all the characters throughout the <laughs> throughout the episode. You know what we should do just to honor all '80s episodes, all '80s television, is mm. to just get the Globe Trotters as guests to the show because. <laughs> They were guests on everything, right? So let's just have yeah, the, the Harlem Globetrotters in as guests. We can, we can get people can get? we can get Phyllis Diller to come in. The, the body of Phyllis. Diller. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a picture of her headstone. <laughs> <laughs> 
as I <laughs> struggle to piece together clips to make a sentence or two of Phyllis Diller <laughs> to fit in the context of a, of a question. <laughs> I, just, I just want to confuse as many people with the 80s references as possible. <laughs> We should do an intro. I'll, I'll I'll figure out how to do an intro like uh, um, Hollywood Squares. Oh yeah, <laughs> Francis. Francis could be Stone Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> I could always, we could always do the reboot, and I could be Bruce Valanche and <laughs> chew every fucking and line. You could be Whoopi. <laughs> <laughs> You're always the center square. <laughs> um, I could be they Gallagher, I guess, then, or Carrot Top or something. Oh, God, yeah. No, but, you know, speaking of, like, 80s, they did, Um, I saw a clip, because you know how there's a, a current a Saved by the Bell remake? Mm -hmm. yeah. Not remake, but a reboot. And they got the cast together, the, mm -hmm. the cast together to remember Screech because that Dustin Diamond had passed away recently. Mm -hmm. Died. Yeah. So they did a whole, they even brought back um, Lark Voorhees, who was kind of. Who went insane. Yeah. She, mm. she went to my movie theater once. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> she was like one of the biggest celebrities to go into our movie theater. And we're like, is that Lars Voorhees? <laughs> And everyone was like, "Yeah, I heard you went crazy," and that's all we talked about for that night. <laughs> but she was super nice. She was really nice. She was very nice. But well, yeah, she 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 reprised her role for this brief scene to to in remembrance of of Screech. Well, something else they did. I'm glad you brought this up. Uh, something else they did on this this reboot show just recently. Um, uh, I can't remember Je Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. Mm -hmm. Jesse. Um, yeah. The the actress uh, reprised her role from Showgirls, basically. No. Yeah, they made it canon. They made yeah. they made the the movie Showgirls canon to Jesse Spano's <laughs> character. So she was in, a in, for a while. But they, apparently, it wasn't quite said like that. But it was like there was lines apparently like, yeah, I, was, I, I really was just overacting or something to that effect no. or. And there was a couple scenes apparently where she was dressed up like the character from Showgirls. Oh, good! Wow. So yeah, they totally made, totally made Showgirls canon to Saved by the Bell. Perfect. I think it's I awesome. I mean, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> That's whatever. Um, yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, I have nothing else. I literally, I had nothing you know, written down this week. I, I was jotting a couple things down as we were starting and trying to get things uh, together here. Uh, mostly because it was Thanksgiving and, and, you know, nothing nothing really happened. No. I mean, you, 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 what you do is you eat. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you're a football fan, you watch some football. Maybe. And then you take a nap. And then you eat again. Mm -hmm. Did you guys watch the dog show? I saw that it was on, but I did not watch it. No. But is it the puppy bowl? Is it no, no, like the 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 AKC. The AKC, like oh, uh, we watch us trot our dogs around and the uh, Scottish deer hound one. Oh, that's a first, isn't it? Uh, it was second year in a row, actually. Oh, second year in a row. Right? Isn't that what Which you were like first. fostering a few weeks ago? Was one of those things? Uh, I had an Irish wolfhound. They are similar, but the wolfhound is larger mm. than the deer hound. So mm. well, you yeah. have to be larger if you're gonna if you're gonna go take down wolves. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I guess that's everything for this week. Um, so, so is next is next episode really about all about eighties? sitcoms and and how we can incorporate the, the absolute strangeness of 80s sitcoms i mean that. i mean if you guys want to <laughs> commit to the bit then yeah yeah i mean it's a small wonder we ever get through this oh show. fucking points where's my points i don't have a points <laughs> damn it i need to capture Yay. that audio so i can i can fucking throw that one out there <laughs> that's a good that's a good one to have hmm. I don't have I, the problem is is that you know look it, it's uh 
not everyone's gonna find it funny. Different strokes for different folks, you know. I mean, it's. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm acting as if I've got a silver spoon. Uh, God uh, my... <laughs> damn it! <laughs> oh, I go to hit laughter. There's no laughter. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's what keeps us together. It's like our family ties. God damn it, Francis! <laughs> <laughs> I know. We'll just take this all one day at a time. All right. It's just uh, don't worry about it. And uh... <laughs> it's all just and, silver um, spoons, right? I'm, I'm just I'm done. Yeah. You you just keep going. <laughs> and that's I know it's it's terrible. It's like my it's just like my Miami Vice. It's my Miami Vice. <laughs> No points on that one. No, no points no. on that one. Uh, Savannah, where can all the people find you if they would like to uh, possibly stalk you? Me? Yes, you. You're the only oh, one named sorry. Savannah okay. here. Uh, I didn't hear my name. Um, no. <laughs> I'm just on Twitter, and you can see my information right on the screen there. At Master Raptors, all At one Master word, and that's Raptors. it. That's the only place. That is and the only place. Ginger. You're welcome. Even when she's in the same town as you. You could still only find her on Twitter. Right. And not even. <laughs> and uh, Francis, where can the people find you? Possibly even uh, uh, tomorrow night. Well, uh, go to books, dot, books, the number two read.com slash dragons tale, T A L. <laughs> uh, that's really the important thing. And then, since you're sorry, well, actually, don't forget about since you're sorry, guys. Go to Super Geeked Up. We're going to actually have author, other authors from the book on as guests. So, we're going to have a bunch of us talk about what we wrote about and stuff like that. So, check it out. And we're going to do oh, a This is going to be just, just self promotion for just two hours. For, for two hours, for like two weeks. <laughs> well, I, I'm <laughs> just saying, tomorrow night specifically uh, yeah no but we're gonna have more there yeah, we're i think i think our guests are just authors from the book for like the next few weeks that's awesome <laughs> i think we're just gonna be promoting this book uh, up the wazoo we're gonna do that wrestling move with this book just shove it up in one <laughs> butt mm. <laughs> and that if was anybody's pre, wondering, that was pre, pre that was pre-record button but Nobody if anybody's if anybody's interested Look up, oh, wow. uh, look up amateur pre uh, amateur wrestling moves that are questionable of 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 where hands get placed. Um, you can uh, like and subscribe and twerk the bells and do all those things. Uh, like subscribe and uh, notify. Uh, you can email at the poi podcast at gmail .com. Call us at 314-764-7631. You can leave a voicemail or text message or call into the show, which would be pretty cool. Uh, the Twitter and Instagram is both POI podcast. Um, and so is voice, uh, voice, voice, Graham, voice book, voice book is now POI podcast as well. <gasps> yes. Oh, wow. Now we don't have to be perfect strangers anymore. We can now be friends. For on. fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and you can email all the rest of your puns to the POI podcast at gmail.com. I believe that is everything for the evening. We're going to get the hell out of here before Francis uh, starts playing the silver spoons. And um, yeah, I, I have nothing else. One no more. You get one more. No, no. Well, I'm going to save it. For an absolute me. zinger on the, on the end here. Uh. <laughs> I can't even think of anything else. <laughs> look, um, we gotta look. I, I'd leave, but then that'd make me a night rider. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>